Okay, good morning. So we decided to go for a bushwalk this morning here in Zululand this time and um, just went to check around the waterhole for some tracks. We found some black rhino tracks heading in a southerly direction so we decided to follow up on that and upon following the rhino tracks for about five minutes or so we came upon fresher leopard tracks heading on the black rhino tracks going towards the water and then again leaving the water so we decided to rather follow up on those tracks heading also south followed the tracks for a while and as we were heading through in this direction the tracks started to become a little bit more um, busy on the ground a lot more tracks and then we started to look around a little bit more heading through this way coming here one can we could smell that there was a little bit of a whiff in the air there was also tracks heading in every which way and then you can see there's a very favorable tree on our eastern side and actually quite a few more but the one that stood out was this tree with some foliage from the top and immediately underneath the tree we saw that there'd been some activity so let's go and see what is under there So if you look carefully, you can see there's some skin lying on the ground. So let's take a closer look. So you can hear the flies buzzing, I'm sure. Blowflies that are attracted to the meat. So here we have an impala that was killed by a leopard. Probably yesterday morning, one would think. Because the skin is fairly dry also there's no meat left really a little bit of meat here between the ribs but that's about it so the leopard had been here for for a good while to uh, be able to finish all of this meat there was only one set of tracks heading towards the water which is north over here and then one set of tracks coming back again so one would deduce that there was only one leopard that was feeding on the carcass you can see here's the, the impala bone <clears throat> I'd estimate that he finished it early this morning, caught it yesterday morning and then probably fed some yesterday, some during the night after having coming back from the water and then left the scene because there's not really much meat left here anymore. There's just a skin and some bones. The, um, the, the pelvis um, is not here at this location, which means that that might actually be somewhere else that he had taken it to. What is quite interesting here in Zululand as well as the leopards don't always take their kills up into, into the trees. What works for them is to eat on the ground as long as there's no pressure from lions, maybe a hyena and even wild dogs. Because that's the main reason they take their kills up into trees is to get the meat out of reach of those animals. So as long as there's no pressure in that line then a leopard would tend to feed on the ground and they'd be happy to. Let's take a walk through here. We can find some more vertebra. What would also be interesting to see is the close proximity that this carcass is to the tree. So here's the bowl of the tree, very close by. Should something come along like a lion or a hyena, the leopard can immediately take the kill up into the tree out of reach of the other predators. Then there's two pieces of vertebra on the ground where the leopard had been feeding but what is very interesting is if we come through here and we have a look on the ground we'll see where the leopard had actually plucked the carcass very characteristic what leopard do is to pull the hair out it makes it a lot easier to eat and of course they're going to be suffering less with things like hairballs and so on. Alright, that's it for this morning.